Hello and welcome. Let's solve this question on commercial arithmetic, a KCC 2010, paper 1, question number 17. A saleswoman is paid a commission of 2% on goods sold worth over 100,000. He also paid a monthly salary of 12,000. In a certain month, she sold 360 bags at 500 each. Part A, calculate the sales woman's earnings that month then part b uh, the following month the saleswoman monthly salary was increased by 10 percent her total earnings that month were 17,600. calculate one the total amount of money received from the sales of handbags that month uh, part b the number of handbags sold that month let's go to the first part are you supposed to calculate the saleswoman's earnings for that month now the saleswoman is paid a commission of two percent on goods sold that are over one hundred thousand and also a monthly salary of twelve thousand so therefore her earnings will be from the commission and from the salary so we already have the salary which is twelve thousand now what we need to get is the commission from the sales now we shall get the total sales by getting this three hundred and 60 bags that is what she sold and each bag was costing 500 so the earnings from the sales will therefore be uh, 360 multiply by 500 so this one will give us the total sales and this one will give 180,000 180,000 so that is the total sales uh, then from there we need to get the commission on these sales we given that uh, the saleswoman is paid a commission of 2% on goods sold over, goods that are over 100,000. When you look at the sales, we have 180,000. So the sales that, the amount that is above 100,000, because that is what she's supposed to get the commission, we shall simply subtract. So we simply get 180,000 subtract 100,000 to get the goods uh, over 100,000 and that will be 80,000. So therefore the commission will be on 80,000. That is what is above 100,000. So therefore the commission the commission will be uh, 2% that is a 2 divided by 100 times 80,000 that is what is above 100,000. And this one will give uh, 1,600. 1,600 is the commission. Therefore, now the earnings, to get the total earnings, we will simply take the salary plus the commission. And the salary is 12,000. And then the commission is 1,600. And this will give 13,600. So 13,600 is the total earnings. So that is about part A. Now let's go to part B. The following month, the saleswoman's monthly salary was increased by 10%. Her total earnings that month were 17,600. Calculate the total amount of money received from the sales of handbags that month. So there are two things here. There was an increase of the salary by 10%. Then the total earnings were 17,600. Remember that these uh, total earnings represents the salary plus the commission. And for the salary, there's an increase of 10%. So I'll start by getting the new salary because we have the original salary. So we shall take the original salary as 100%. That was uh, 4,000. Uh, what about now? After increase of 10%, after an increase of 10%, that would be 100 plus 10, that would be uh, 110%. So we get this, this will be 110, multiply by 12,000, divided by, you just cross multiply here, 100. And this will give the new salary as 13,000, 13,200. That is after the increase of 10%. So you can see from 12,000 to 13,200. Now, since we want to get the sales and um, the commission, of course, the commission from the sales, so we are going to take this figure, 17,600, because it is inclusive of the salary and the commission, we subtract the salary. 
so to get the commission so to get the commission so to get the commission we shall take uh, the whole amount that is 17600 then we subtract 13200 whatever is we are going to be left with here will be 4400 and these will be the commission that will be the commission so the commission is 4000 400. Now we need to now determine the sales that were made in order to get this commission of 4,400. How do we get the, the commission? Remember the commission is 2% multiplied by goods over, worth of 100,000. So we shall let the sale, let the sales be represented by X because you don't know. So when we get 2%, percent of, of the sales and x will represent the sales that are above a hundred thousand that should give us the commission which is four thousand four hundred therefore x you get x by four thousand four hundred multiplied by the reciprocal of two over hundred that will be a hundred over two and these will give you multiply that you get two hundred and twenty thousand 220,000 shillings. So 220,000 shillings represents the sales that are above 100,000. Therefore, the actual sales will be given by 220,000 plus 100 and is 100,000. Why are we getting this? Because you said that 220,000 represents the sales that are above 100,000. So therefore, the actual sales will have to add 100,000. And that will give 320,000. So 320,000 are the actual sales that were made by these saleswomen. Now, the question is um, the total amount of money received from the sale of the handbags. So 320,000. Is the total amount of money received from the sales of the handbag links. Now we go to the next part, the number of handbags sold for that month. Now we already have uh, the total sales, uh, the amount of money received from the sales of handbags. And you know that one handbag, one handbag was costing 500 shillings. So what about uh, for these uh, 320,000, how many handbags sold here? So we simply need to take 320,000 divided by 500 and this will give 640 bucks so that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question